hello again so do you remember last week or at the beginning of this week we did a new story and it was called the elephant's child and it's all about the little elephant and remember that elephant was a little bit different to elephants that we know now can you remember what the difference is it was to do with his trunk that was the word trunk he has a long nose now but back in the olden days he had a short nose so remember he looked like this let's just show you here okay so that's how he looks now let me just sit a little bit further back and then you can see so that's how he looks now with his big flappy ears and in the olden days he had a short nose like that can you remember what these are called, these long white things? Can you remember what those are called? Tusks. Tusks. And can you remember what tusks are made out of? It's a bone called ivory. Ivory. There you go. So we've got the tusks and we've got the trunk. And this little elephant, there was something about him. Can you remember how, why, did, why was he so irritating to his aunties? Can you remember? He was always asking questions. And now you and I know that that's a good thing to always ask questions because it means that you learn lots and lots. But in this family, the aunties got very, very irritated. And I'm sure you know, even with your moms and dads, if you go on and on and on, eventually they say, please stop enough questions. Okay, it can get irritating. So this little elephant was asking questions and there was one question that they got very upset with him asking. Can you remember what that was? It was about the great green crocodile. He would say, oh, excuse me, auntie, where can I find the great green crocodile? And they got very upset. Why did they get so upset with him? Because it is dangerous. It's dangerous. And they didn't want him to get hurt or get into trouble with anybody. And they knew that he shouldn't go near the great green crocodile. But they also knew that this little elephant always wanted to know everything. And so he probably would go if they told him. That's why they got cross with him and they said, no, we're not going to tell you. Just go and play, go and do something. So can you remember who the first auntie was? Let's see. It was this one here. Oops. Auntie Giraffe. Auntie Giraffe. And so there was Auntie Giraffe. Can you remember the questions that he asked Auntie Giraffe? I think he asked about her skin, why she got spotty skin. And there was another question. Can you remember? I actually can't remember what else he asked. Was it about her eyes or why she's always eating leaves from the tops of the trees? I can't remember, but he definitely asked her about her skin and she said, well, I was born this way, so stop asking me all these silly questions. And she sent him on his way. And who was the next auntie? The second one was this one here. Auntie Hippo. And can you remember what he asked Auntie Hippo? He asked her, why are her eyes so big? And why is she always spending all day lying in the mud? And she said, well, it's because I like it. So stop asking me all these silly, silly questions. And I was born this way, so stop talking about my eyes. And she also sent him on his way. So then he went off and he tried to find the great green crocodile. And who did he meet on the way? Mr. Snake. And Mr. Snake told him, he said to him, if you go over that hill over there and around the corner, past the trees, you will find the great green greasy Limpopo River. Do you know where Limpopo is? Limpopo is a place here in South Africa. It's just a little bit further up country in a different province to us. So it's not in the Western Cape. But Limpopo is actually a place right here in Africa. See, we are in Africa. That's our continent. And we are in the country South Africa. That's a country in the continent. So the continent is the big place. Then we've got South Africa. And then we've got Cape Town, Limpopo, Johannesburg, all of those places in South Africa. Okay, so Limpopo is in South Africa as well. So he said, you will find the great green greasy limpopo river and the elephant thought oh but this is very exciting i'm going to go and have a look and so the little elephant went Let's see what he's going to do now so he's got his short nose still 
And he went a little bit this way, and he went a little bit that way, and he looked and he looked and he looked, and eventually he found the great green greasy Limpopo River. And he said, oh, there it is. Oh, I can't believe I found it, but where's the great green crocodile? And it was a very, very long river, so he decided to walk a little bit up the river bank and follow the river. And then, after a little while, this is what he saw. Just a little bit of the crocodile's head, just his eyes. So he couldn't see this bit here, just his eyes were peeping out of the water. And the rest of his body was underneath. So the little elephant came and he said, Oh, um, hello, Mr. Crocodile. Are you the great green crocodile in the great green greasy Limpopo River? And the crocodile said, Hmm? He said, Hello, little one. Um, well, how can I help you? I am the great green crocodile and this is the great green greasy Limpopo River. Oh, well, I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to ask some questions. Ooh, ask me anything you like. But um, I'm not so good at hearing. Why don't you come a little bit closer? Oh, uh, okay. So the elephant went a little bit closer. Like this? Can you see me now? And can you hear me? My eyes are not so good and my ears are not so good. Um, can you come just a little bit closer? <laughs> um, okay. So he went a little bit closer. Um, what about now? Can you see me now? Maybe one more step. Um, okay. And so he went a little bit closer. Yes, that should do it. And the great green crocodile opened his mouth and he grabbed hold of the little elephant's trunk and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled. Ow! 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 Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! And he screamed and cried and carried on and eventually the crocodile let him go and went back into the water. And there sat the little elephant with this long trunk. Oh, oh, he said, um, look at what it's done to my long nose. It's, it's all stretched. I used to have such a nice nose and now look at it, it's ugly. <laughs> and he cried and he cried and he thought, oh, now my aunties are going to be so cross with me. They told me not to go here. And so he had to go home to his village. And he walked and he walked and he walked and he walked. Super, super sad. And then he went the other way and he walked and he walked and he walked. And on his way, he came across an apple tree. And he started to feel a little bit hungry. And he thought to himself, I'm going to eat one of those apples. Now before, he normally had to wait until the apples had fallen onto the ground and then he could pick them up and chew them. But there were no apples on the ground this time. And so he looked and he tried to... Uh, uh, and he just couldn't reach. And then his nose started to move and he realized that he could move his nose around. And he thought, mm. And so he took his trunk and oh, grabbed one of the apples Put it in his mouth. Mm. 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 Oh, well, this is this is quite a useful nose. I think I like my new nose. And he took another apple. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, this is actually a very nice nose indeed. I really like this one. Mm. So he was starting to feel a little bit happier about his nose. Now I'm looking at the time on our video and it's starting to get a little bit long. So we're going to have to finish the rest of the story next week. Now we know that the elephant is happy with his nose, but will his aunties be happy with his nose? And will they be happy that he went and did what they told him not to do? We'll have to wait and see. So let us do our English rhyme before we leave. Okay, so we're going to go and we will 
So first of all, we're going to go like so. Hands on the knees. One, two, three. English is over. Our lesson is done. Thank you all for lots of fun. I'll see you again in one week's time. Or you'll see me. So say goodbye and end this rhyme. There we go. And I will see you again, or you will see me, next week. Have a lovely week, everybody. Bye for now.